Do you play fantasy baseball? Do you bring a cheat sheet draft night? Do you have Microsoft Excel? If you answered yes to these three questions, we've got the fantasy baseball draft tool for you. Let's get into a quick demo of the tool. Right here is your scoring sheet. This is where you set up our software to be customized with your league settings. You specify your league type, row to 5x5, 4x4 points, and depending what you pick here, it will pre-populate the typical scoring categories for all the positions. Then you jump over to the draft board and lead settings. You pick how many teams you have, how many roster spots, what the minimum auction price is for those in an auction draft. If you have a salary cap for your auction draft, they, everybody can have the same, which would be this drop down here, or you can do individual salary caps, which you would populate over here. Your draft type can be standard or auction. If you pick auction, you need to specify how many of each position you're going to be drafting. And then the player pool can be all Major League Baseball, American League, or National League only. Once you're ready, you hit this recalculate projections and build draft board button. What this will do is it'll go cheat sheet by cheat sheet, updating our projections, which are fed from TG Fantasy Baseball, against your league settings to give you fully customized cheat sheets. This immediately took us over to a customized cheat sheet. This is a summary of all the cheat sheets over here. Let's take a look at first base. A couple things to be aware of. Starting auction value. This is the auction value at the start of the draft. No money is spent. No draft picks have been made. Current auction value. As money is spent and picks are made, these numbers will go up or down depending on how much money is left to be spent. Any player crossed off in red has been picked already. The current auction value is the amount they went for. Right now, everything is sorted based on fantasy points, which are taking our projections, working over your league settings, and calculating them across. Say you want to sort based on home runs. Let's head over to this drop down. Every category is here. Let's select home runs. And dynamically, everything is sorted by home runs. Okay, let's go make a draft pick. So we head over to the draft board tab, and you notice a couple things. A bunch of blue buttons up top. These right here are all navigation buttons. These will toggle from team to team however you want to go. We have a draft player, all teams, and a summary. We'll take these at a time. So let's say we want to draft a player. You have two options to draft a player. One is to press this draft player button. This box comes up. Let's say the pitcher, we're going to select the pitcher. So we'll go to the starting pitcher, Roy Holiday, for the Axemen. Say they got him for $34. Draft player. It's that easy. So the Axemen, Got Roy Holiday for $34. You want to make another draft pick? You click this drop down. Say you want to pick an outfielder. Ellsbury. It's that easy. You got two options of entering draft picks. Say you want to see a summary of the draft picks. You click on this summary. On the left hand side, you have one team's roster, which is fed from this selection criteria here. I change this. My rosters change over here. Now, reading across using the team names, you have the one player max for using an auction draft, total spent and total left, and then you also have a positional tracker. This tracks every position players drafted on your team. Over here, we have a player pool of who's available. The empty spaces signifies who's been picked already. When I'm done, I can exit to the draft board to go to the all teams grid. Let's go check out the all teams grid. This is great for those of you that love those sticker boards. Remember those? big ones, put them up on the wall. It's color-coded. Well, this is our version of it. It's color-coded, let you know what's going on in the draft. Right now, it's sorted based on position drafted. Let's say you want to group them based on position. I click this button. Now everything's sorted based on position, color-coded, very easy on the eyes, let you know what's going on in the draft. Try that with a $30 sticker board. Remember, fantasydrafttools.com. Fantasy baseball starts with a draft, so don't blow it.